Welcome back to P2 Arrow and the Yamaha 998 Turbo Powered Rans S21 project. It's sure been a crazy week, and we got past a huge milestone as you can see here, with not only the main gear and wheels installed, but the engine mount is fully welded and now supporting that beautiful engine hanging out front. Big thanks to my uncle for coming up here to weld the mount and also give me some TIG tips and tricks so I can improve on that skill. We spent the first morning practicing on scrap offcuts, dialing in a process that we were comfortable with. We even tested some of those welds and could break the pipe without touching the weld, so we moved on to the real thing. The goal was to get as much welded while it was still in place on the firewall jigged up. Then we moved to the table to get the rest of the tight spots. I suppose if you were making a bunch of these, you could build a jig to hold things in place while leaving all the welds accessible. But for just this one, we didn't feel that was necessary. Mounting the engine back in place went smoothly, with very little persuasion needed, and the thrust line dimensions that I set early on are still right on the money, so I'm excited about that. I'm still using temporary hardware for everything, since I know it'll come back off again as soon as I get every little tab welded on for all the other systems. I keep a running list of what hardware I need to find, so that I know what to get when the time comes. The stock turbo support spanned the main engine mount tubes almost perfectly, so I decided to incorporate that in my design and utilize it. I suspect it serves as some kind of heat sink since it's a beefy cast piece.
last thing that I've been working on lately is the throttle setup. I needed to not only reverse it from pull to a push actuation, but also extend its travel about 3 to 1 to increase the resolution on the RPM settings a bit. There's many ways to do this. This is what I've come up with so far. It's still a work in progress, so use your imagination a bit. I don't have a real throttle cable yet, so the safety wire is in there as I prove this concept. I made the base out of aluminum, and the bell crank is 304 stainless and rides on a pressed end bearing. I feel like it's a pretty simple solution to a common problem when doing conversion engines like this. Overall, the visual progress this week has been outstanding, and I couldn't be happier with the outcome. I'd love to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next update.